Today we are going to build vegetable boxes. Simple vegetable box. Rustic vegetable box. So are you ready for this? I am. Good. Let's go. Good morning, Danny. What are you doing? I'm just checking what's taking so long. <laughs> Excuse me. Yay. Watch it. We are. We just put the sides together using these smaller blocks just to tie the three um, pieces together. I was hoping for a much deeper raised bed, but um, because we're on a budget, we, we had limited um, sizes to choose from in terms of the, the width of the wood. And um, I think this size plank was also uh, cheap and it was available. So for now, we're going to just put two of them on, on top of each other, so it's about 15 centimeters deep. Uh, the boxes won't have any base so we've got you know all of the soil to work with but you also have to keep into consideration the deeper your box the more soil and compost you have to add which also costs money so because we have to buy everything at this stage um, we don't have enough compost made here in our own yard yet so we're just busy putting it together and hopefully we will show you a finished product soon is complete except that we want to put a support brace here in the center running across um, otherwise the, the sides will just push out as you fill this with the inside with soil um, but it's late in the afternoon we don't want to make a noise and we didn't cut the pieces for the inside so we're just going to use a handsaw and quickly trim those pieces to size just taking away the last of the balance beam structure that we built for my niece's birthday party it was a pirate themed party so we made the shark fins great cut these blocks and um, just cut them halfway through like that so the cardboard fins can slot in there and stand upright so we positioned these fins all around the balance beam structure and the kids absolutely loved it so we're just getting that out of the way then we can move our vegetable first vegetable box into place these stones are in the way now and i've been thinking about what i can do with the stones we had various ideas but the dogs I, the dogs are trying to dig a hole underneath the fence so we've packed these bricks all along this edge but they tend to they're still able to scratch the bricks away so I think I'm gonna pack the rocks all along the fence these ones are on the inside but I actually think that I want to pack this the rocks on the outside so we're just gonna quickly move these rocks out of the way and Craig's already busy building the next box sorry guys I've run out of space on my phone I was busy filming our project um, so I didn't get the last bit but great news is that we managed to finish our three boxes if you have a closer look we've inserted this piece in the center just to prevent the box from the sides from actually pushing out once we fill this with soil the next step is going to be getting the wood chip out of this uh, space and i think we'll put on cardboard 
uh, that's just to suppress any weeds that may want to come up and we'll then put swell and compost on top of the cardboard and plant into the swell. So um, I'll test the spacing before we before we finalize the design but um, we have to be able to fit a wheelbarrow in um, between the boxes it should have enough room for us to walk freely um, I think at the moment it's a little bit narrow spacing because if you have plants right on the edge and they grow um, spill over the sides it, it may sort of encroach in the pathway so we'll fix that I just want to show you as well the one other thing we did was um, we put stones all along the edge on the outside and we just created the nice border with a stone that we had left over in the garden Then my food for thought to you, maybe there's uh, something that you've been putting off doing like um, cleaning out your garage or sorting out a cupboard in a chest of drawers, whatever it may be, sometimes we feel totally overwhelmed by the magnitude of the project. Like if I look at this garden and I think about everything that should still happen, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. But the principle we're trying to apply here is the 1% change a day. So whatever that thing is for you, I want to challenge you to sit down and think about a small change that you can make today. So if it's sorting out a drawer in your cupboard, don't think about sorting out the whole drawer in one go. Just open that drawer and take out one thing that you can see that's obvious that you want to get rid of and get rid of it and if you keep on doing that eventually you're going to finish the task that you had set out to do that's it hope you have an awesome day